Time for minor league baseball here on the show as we set our sights on the Double A Eastern League. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Erie Sea Wolves and the Altoona Curve. At the plate, Cole Peterson. And we are set for baseball here this evening. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Standing in, Jacob Robson is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Here it comes on one and one. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Pulled toward right center field. Madris is there, two gone. That the plate now is the designated the hitter, hitter, Nick Ames. Nick. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. And now pitch on the way. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Madris is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Travis Swaggerty. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All even now. Two and two. Bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. Throw and he's called out on a close play at first. And Charlie Tilson now comes forward. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Now batting, Will Craig, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two out, nobody on. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Oh, uh, and he lets him off the hook Batting there four. as this isn't even Batting close for ball hitter. four. Logan. Kill. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. So here's the cleanup hitter, Cody Clemens. The average on the year for him is just shy of 310 entering action in this one. Fouled away. The one two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself and the leadoff man set down to start the second. Stepping up now, Chad Setio. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Swing and a liner. Foul. The one two is taken for ball two. No score here as we play inning number two. He pulls this one into right. Tilson is there. Two down. 
Digging in, Daniel Panero. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Panero. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Outside in a full count, three and two. Cam Gibson would be next. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Swaggerty will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Digging in now, Hunter Owen, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. A one one. That's the ball. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. A dive and he knocks it down. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. At the plate now, Mitchell Tolman hit on the ground to third. The second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And stepping up is the shortstop, Adrian Valerio. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. High in the air out to center field. Robson is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. At the plate, Cam Gibson. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. In there, two and two. And he got him. In now, Joey Morgan. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And he pops him up back behind second base. Tolman backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now with the plate, Danny Woodrow. The right fielder, Danny Woodrow. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Lima Driss, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The one two. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. Into the box now, Christian Kelly. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the one and one pitch. Is looked at for ball number two. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. The 2-2. Two -two. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order. Reined in. And there's out number two. Digging in for his second at-bat, Travis Swaggerty. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Still even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. 
locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And he struck him out, so he was forced to make nine pitches that at-bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Cole Peterson. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. That's a base hit, their first of the game. Now batter, the center fielder, Jacob Robson. Into the box, Jacob Robson down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Swing and a foul tip, but that's held onto behind the plate. It's a strikeout for route number now one. Designated hitter. Next will be Nick. the designated hitter. Ames. Nick Ames comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the 2 1 pitch is laid off of for ball number three. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Tilson is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Cody Clemens. He got on top Cody. of one and was a ground-out victim Clemens. last time. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. The batter. Stepping in, Chad Setio hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next AB. Now in the box, Daniel Panera, one of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. Softly hit here to the left side. One run scores. And that's through into left, a base hit. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2 nothing ball game. Now batting, left fielder, Cam. So Gibson. now to the plate, Cam Gibson. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. ready to go for the last half of the inning and next it'll be the outfielder Charlie Tilson hey we're still in the early stages in this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started a ball and two strikes now and that one misses badly it's ball two and he takes ball three so it's a full count now Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Settling in now, Will Craig. He drew a walk his first time up. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Right on the corner, two and two. Now the pitch. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Striding forward now, now is the DH, Logan Hill. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So digging in now, Joey Morgan. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. 
Now batter. Coming to the plate right now, field. Danny Woodrow. Danny. First time up, he went down Woodrow. looking. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Another payoff pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Now Miguel back. Del Pozo comes on now in an awfully oh. difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Cole Peterson will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Madris patrolling center makes the play one out. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Digging in to try it again, Jacob Robson. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Ready for another chance? Nick Ames. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The one two. And it's fouled away. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. Another one two delivery. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Hunter Owen. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Stepping in, Mitchell now Tolman. Back. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Mitchell. One out, nobody on. Tolman. Fastball is looked at for strike two. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Woodrow is over and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. So coming to the plate, Adrian Valerio. He flew out in his last at bat. Valerio. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The one-two. Misses for the second ball. Count remains two and two. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Cody Clemens. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move, and he makes the catch in the corner. Into the box, now Chad Setio. It was a walk in his Chad last trip. Setio. to one and two now. And the pitch. Ball, now a fastball ball. awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Line to the right side. A leap here, but it ticks off his glove. And there are two away now. Digging in once again, Daniel Pinero. One for two in the ball game thus far. Bases are empty here with two men out. In there, and it's even now, two and two. A 
little late on the fastball but he's able to spoil that one off and he'll get another chance. Another try at 2 2. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there but kind of overdid it with a pitch that high it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Valerio has got it and the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now and standing in the outfielder Bly Madris. The 1 1 home. Lifted in the air out to right. Right fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now to the plate, Christian the Kelly. Christian Kelly. The 1 1 home. Line drive to center field. Robson is there now, and he has it to gone. Now back now to the back. top of the lineup, Let's stepping in, Travis Laura. Swaggerty. It's been an 0 for 2 effort Swaggerty. for him to this point. The 1-1. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Ready now, Charlie now Tilson. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here's a look over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Swaggerty is off of first with two away. A little bit outside, two and one. Liner towards second. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. The relay. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. Now back, first baseman, Will Craig. To the plate now, Will Craig. Swing and a line drive. And that is going to get down for extra bases as this will drive home two. He pulls into second safely as we're now tied after a pair of runs score on now the play. The designated hitter. Logan. Into the box Hill. now, Logan Hill. And it's one and two. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a guy to chase your pitch just like that one. Count even at two and two. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Hunter Owen would be next. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Joel Caesar is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 38. Joel. Seventh inning ready to roll. And digging in is the outfielder, Cam Gibson. The 2-1. Sharp ground ball to third. And that's through in the left. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. The the Joey. Standing in now, Joey Morgan. Pitch misses low. The throw down. In time as he just gets the tag down. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Pitch on the way. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. Lifted down the line in left. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Another 2-2 offering. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Center fielder looking up, still ranging back. And they have taken the lead.
at the plate. Danny Woodrow pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Now batting. Cole. Stepping in now, Cole Peterson. And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line, and no one will track it down. Another full count pitch home. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. A play at the plate, and not in time as the run scores. The the fielder. So now Jacob to the plate, Jacob Robson. Robson. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. And the count will be full. Still only one out in the inning. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. Fouled off. The next three, two. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. A payoff pitch one more time. Nope. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Bo Sulcer takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Nick Ames will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. The 3 2 one more time. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. So stepping in, Cody Clemens. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. The 1 2. Two down, runners at first and second. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. Vladimir Pinto gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 86. Now at the plate, Hunter Owen. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 2-1. It's the outside corner for the second strike. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, 3-2. and two. And in a two-run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that tying run in the on-deck circle as long as you can. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Hunter Owen is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. At the plate now, Adrian Valerio swung on and went fishing in the dirt and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning striding into the box Lima Brooks it was a fly out for him in his last trip he's set here comes the 1 1 
just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Ready to begin the eighth and set to go is the third baseman, Chad Setio. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. Just hung in there on that one. Fastball well outside. Two balls, two strikes. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Striding in, Daniel Pinero. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. On to first, and there were two down. Stepping in and ready now for another shot, Cam you. Gibson. Last Cam time through was a base hit. Gibson. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And a bouncing ball, foul. Getting late, 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Again, he sends it out of play. The 2-2 one more time. Fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Tilson will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Nolan Blackwood will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Nolan. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next to hit is the catcher, Christian Kelly. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tied run to the plate. Three-two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So striding forward now, Travis Swaggerty. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last half back. The 3 1. And it's fouled away. Count remains full. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Charlie Tilson. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. Robson arranged to his left and put it away. Two down. Standing in, Will Craig. He drove in two runs on a double in his last at-bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at-bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning.
Nick Mears enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now with the plate, Joey Morgan, a hit and two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase, but he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now batting, right fielder, Danny Woodrow. Into the box now, Danny Woodrow. He pulls this one into right, and that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he is in there. So a big spot here in stepping in Cole Peterson. Although there are a couple of bases open and we'll see if they think about working around him. 1-1. Oh. And he chased one there as this is bounced to short. And that's the second out. Stepping into the box, now Jacob back. Robson. It was a walk in his last trip. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. That's down low. It's ball four. And they're at the corners now with two away. Now batting. Into the box now, Nick Ames. And they're runners at the corners Ames. now. The 2 1 pitch. A swing and a foul tip, but held on to behind the plate, and they're going to get out of danger here as the strikeout will end the inning. Gerson Moreno takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 84. Stepping up to the plate, Logan Hill. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Now the 2 1 is a fastball down below the knees. Slapped hard the opposite way. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first, first out. Two. Riding Hunter. in once again, Hunter Owen. Oh, yeah. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. One and one, here it comes. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Ready once again, Mitchell Tolman. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the night. Now here's the pitch. Two run game, last of the ninth with two away. This is on the ground over to first. On to first, and that's your ball game. He's proven to be an awfully reliable reliever this season. He wraps this one up and collects his 20th save of the year so far. Four to two with the final score tonight. The Sea Wolves jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Franklin Perez earns the win his second. Gerson Moreno earns the save out of the bullpen his 20th of the season. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.
the final line score for our ball game for the victorious Seabull, four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For the curve, two runs on four hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 51 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.